here are the three ways that you can overcome chronic pain without a visit to the doctor and without any medication whatsoever. Correct. Forgiveness, <laughs> gratitude, and something to do as in a goal or a target. You sound like AI generated content right now. You're Which, technically correct, but like when you sell I'm not like, technically correct, I am correct. That is technically correct. It's no, like, it's not technical, it's, it's true. In gratitude and in forgiveness, you will in fact remove cortisol from your system, which will help reduce chronic pain. 100% correct. Nobody gives a flying f about that. Somebody who's got chronic pain doesn't give a f about cortisol and doesn't know what it is and doesn't want to know what it is. And if you tell somebody that has some kind of a chronic pain or some kind of a mental illness preventing them from waking up in the morning, that cortisol is the problem. They're gonna be like, great, and go talk to my doctor or my therapist about cortisol for four hours, and my doctor or my therapist is gonna say, no, I'll take this pill. Now, talking about cortisol confuses people because they don't know what it is. But when you tell people forgiveness, how to show forgiveness, which is whatever happened in the past that you did or that someone else did, you forgive them or yourself for it. Gratitude, just blatantly be grateful for absolutely everything. Even if you lost your fucking legs, be grateful. The gratitude part was showing gratitude for everything. And showing gratitude for everything means I, I'm grateful that I have power. If you have power, I'm grateful that I can drink water. If you can drink water, like if you're not dead, you have something to be grateful for. And if you are dead, you're not in any kind of pain or mental anguish. You have, you have no pain, no anguish, nothing. And if you're alive, you have something to be grateful for. Even if everything seems 